Here's my little DIY ball of focus that I set up. Um, I'm using a little thumb controller from an older uh, Alex Moss gimbal. Uh, this time I'm just using the one the up and down potentiometer uh, for the 0 to 3 volt signal going to the analog to digital converter in the micro. And uh, I just got everything kind of taped up here for now. Eventually put it in a box of some sort. Uh, just proving my concept here. <clears throat> and the output of that goes to a opto isolator and then down to the servo here. And uh, right now I'm using a tail drive gear from a T-Rex 450 helicopter. Just JB welded to the servo horn. And I got a pivot point here, for the servo, and I just did a, a ball link uh, attachment down to this bottom plate I made, just so I can adjust it and set the how hard the this gear presses into the elastic. Uh, undecided yet if I'm going to do gears or a belt drive. Uh, Eventually I'll probably go to a stepper motor. This is this one's pretty noisy as you can hear. Um, kind of makes your camera's audio useless. So if you don't need the audio, then this is a perfect setup. So what we have set up here is if you move the button up, the joystick up, it focuses uh, farther away and if you pull down focuses closer so you can see here in the monitor so yeah works pretty good needs a little tweaking yet codes pretty simple um, so here's what we got inside uh, this is a spark fun SAMD uh, 21G mini breakout board with the 32 bit micro on there, 12 bit analog to digital converter. Gives you 4,096 steps of usable range. Uh, and this here is a, it's an opto isolator. Uh, the, this board is only 3.3 volts. And the servo is, you know, like four and a half to 12 volts, depending on which one you buy. Uh, I'm using five volts, so. So you'll need this to interface to the servo. Just otherwise you potentially will risk frying the micro. And this here's a little 900 megahertz uh, serial radio. And uh, just playing around with that, hoping to have it wireless so I can just plug it into the the power tap here on the Ronin and uh, have another little processor down there running the servo, no extra wires. Let's have my HDMI cable and maybe down the road have a video transmitter and somebody can operate this thing remotely. So yeah, it's coming along. You know, it's about $700 US for the cheapest decent one I've seen. Um, but none of them really offer the, you know, the, the thumb controller option here, uh, if you're running it solo. Yeah, it works, works all right. See there. And it travels pretty decent. There you go, that's my DIY follow focus setup. Uh, total cost is probably under a hundred dollars. Tricky part will be you know finding one of these. They're around, but you can use any kind of potentiometer joystick thing. I think Spark Fun sells a lot of them, so yeah. There you go.